hey guys i'm cold um i wanted to chat <laughs> about like i've been seeing videos and stuff online about like oh i feel bad for gen z oh i feel for them we don't need y'all feeling sorry for us we need you to educate <laughs> bottom line don't feel sorry it is what it is. The The standards of living is changing. We just want to be educated or advised in a great way of like what to do. You know, like, okay. Um, let me think like the older adults just speak on, oh, I had this and I had that. And I... that's the problem. You guys are always fixated on what you had. That's not what's in okay <laughs> that is the problem you guys glorify i had a car i had a jacuzzi i had a like i don't even know they just be saying some of the weirdest things to brag about it's like okay you had those things and because of you now we can't have it why do I say because of you? Because you probably didn't manage your money correct and still had children. And now those children have to figure things out for themselves, but still have your type of standards of living, of still wanting things like a little brat, but they can't have those things. So it's like, <laughs> like that's the problem. I'm starting to realize that like a lot of um, younger people, they have that mindset. And I'm wondering, like, at first, I was thinking, like, where's that coming from? Why are y'all like this? Like, y'all kind of bratty. Like, everybody's kind of bratty. It's like, you expect to have a car. You expect to have a life. No, we was born, we're humans. If you look back in history, you're supposed to have a, a hut. <laughs> You know, that's the basic living, just to have a roof, something over your head to save you from rain and sunshine from getting burned. That's like, that's why I need people like to kind of come back down to earth and remember. <laughs> but that's what I noticed, like people expect to have what their parents had or grandparents had. Because trust me, if I was the type to expect that I'm supposed to have what my grandparents have, then I should have a house. I should have a car. Um, I should be able to do whatever I want. Um, I should have a boyfriend or a husband. Um, I should have my kids. I should have all of those things by the age of 24 because that's when they had it. But no, I don't expect my life to be just like theirs. It can't be. But yeah, that's what I'm realizing. I think everybody's mindset is slightly off because it's certain things about how they grew up they still want to attach to, but they don't really have like, um, I don't want to call it maturity. It could be wisdom. It could be intellect. It could be smarts. I don't know what it's called when you have that maybe self-awareness. I don't know. It's something that I'm not seeing from people to realize could be common sense to realize that a lot of what they expect to have is not actually expected um that is it's not a requirement the only thing that's a requirement is food so you don't die a roof over your head it could be any type honestly and sadly just to protect you from weather and clothing so you're not naked yeah sorry to break it to anybody who don't want to hear that but it's the truth you know anything else you think you should have is not actually um something you can have you know that's not promised to you but hey who am i maybe you're blessed if you're blessed okay it's promised it's promised to you you're blessed <laughs> Who am I to say you're not promised something, okay? Maybe God sees something that you need it for a reason. But a lot of times, like we know here in America, 
things aren't promised to us we're taking out loans we're using credit cards and stuff to get these things it's, so it's really not promised to us we just using um advances to get it because if it was kind of promised it like be gifted or something like you happen to come across a car and somebody's like hey i'm giving getting rid of this car would you like it you'd be like ah thank you like that to me feels like okay i was promised to have this so um yeah you know your family that's another thing that's why it's great to have a family um who is like mature and good money management so they can pass things down to you that feels more like it was promised if they pass it down that's wonderful but you know everybody don't got that so i'm just saying that's the only time it could, it could feel like that but yeah but yeah that's all i could think of i just wanted to say that because people was talking about things going on and i'm kind of in a better mood now <laughs> I can't lie. I'm um I'm kinda in a better mood. Um my grandmother did her taxes. <laughs> so that is gonna give some cushion to like help us move. But I still don't know where. That's the thing. I don't know where. Honestly. It definitely will give that to just move. Because I I don't have um uh, money even like to pay nothing else. I'm just saying. I ain't got it like that it, you know. I want to still make that clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we ain't. Is it still bad out here? So, but yeah, just making it like a lot of people, and I'm okay with it for right now because I'm healthy, I'm safe, and you know, so I'm okay right now. You know about that? I'm not gonna stress myself. It's not worth it. I, I can't stress myself about this. You know, <laughs> if. You know, <laughs> that's how I feel. That's how I feel. If people want to kick me out, kick me out. I, I don't care anymore. You know, just kick me out then. Yeah. People want to, uh, I don't even, well, that's the only issue. Can't think of another issue I would have somebody which I come from before. <laughs> I don't think there's no other reason for somebody to come for me right now. Because I, I, well, that's a good thing. I have to also look at it as that. I didn't put myself in positions where i owed money to like banks or car companies and stuff that's why you have to like that's why that's important because if my only stress is rent that's actually a good thing you know people have multiple stresses they got children they got car payments they got rent they got i don't even know credit card is it credit card dang it's just so many things that people could be stressing about i don't want to stress myself to stress for them <laughs> it's just a lot now that i think about it that's why i try not to complain really that's why i really try not to complain because i know it's a lot going on for a lot of people but then at the same time it's like you did this to yourself but they didn't know at the same time. Maybe some of them didn't know. That's why I think it's very important we get the word out with money management and the education about what's truly important. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to continue to pray, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to pray for our channel, for my channel, for us all in here. And everyone is watching this. I'm about to pray. Like, oh, Lord, help us. Please help us do better and be better and grow uh, and protect us on our journey moving forward. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna bring more later, but I'm just saying, like that's a little a little glimpse of what I'll be saying. <laughs> but yeah, all right, let me go because I'm a little hungry. I need to eat something probably just need a little snack but yeah all right i got more videos on the way i'm gonna start working on those um yeah but thank you for watching thank you uh for subscribing liking commenting um yeah so i got more videos um i'm trying to think what type of video you know what i'm just gonna be recording so we're gonna see it is what it is what it will be <laughs> all right bye